first time I ever saw Guns N' Roses was 1987 at a roller rink in Kitchener, Ontario, and you were opening for the cult. And uh, I remember thinking, okay, this band's got something, we'll have to watch them. And now you've got Ian Asbury from the cult singing the that you brought that up because a lot of my relationship with Ian obviously stems from us opening up for the cult because I'd never met them prior to that and uh, got to be really good friends with Ian and Billy and even a couple of the other guys uh, in the band at that time and uh, you know that was always an important part of my career was sort of the cult sort of taking us under their wing because we were sort of an inexperienced rowdy ragamuffin rock band you know sort of all of a sudden thrust into the professional arena you know and the, and the cult were great and I've maintained a relationship with him and I've always thought he was one of the most phenomenal singers and I had this piece of music that I thought God, Ian would be great on this you know so I contacted him and he was wonderful he said oh yeah you know let's do it that's a, it's a great start to the record because it really sets the tone for the for the uh, the other tracks that, that, that come <laughs> 